All right, so my name is Amarjot Singh. I'm talking to you from Edmonton, Canada, where it is sunny here and it's nice and bright. Am I talking to... Oh, what is your name? My name is Anthony. Anthony, okay. And what city are you calling me from? The name of the city is uh, Palwancha, which is, uh, uh, which is located at the tail end of the uh, southern part of India. Is that the is that the same place or near the same place where an elephant was killed because of uh, no. crackers? No, 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 yeah. no. Before uh, I, before I talk before I talk to you about Canada immigration, you tell me the what is the story about this elephant dying? How did this elephant die? Well, uh, according to what I heard, uh, uh, there was some uh, uh, some guy who fed this elephant a pineapple. Uh, stuffed with some uh, uh, crackers uh, and then uh, uh, the crackers got burst and the elephant couldn't uh, uh, it, it could not take it anymore uh, it went into the water some lake or something and uh, it died there wait a second wait a second now it was this an accidental or somebody had pre-planned to give this food as a cracker to the elephant no, it was not accidental, sir. It was intentional. He was a fool. He was a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. No, but why, what, what kind of mischief is this? I mean, why would they put the crackers inside the uh, pineapple? Why, what, what, what is the intention? I really do not know much of the details, sir. Uh, all that I knew was, I mean, uh, in our childhood days, there used to be a story. Uh, that uh, the elephant went to one uh, shop, a small shop, and there was a little boy. Uh, oh, he pinched man. it with uh, some needle, and then elephant was something like the mischievous guys are there all uh, uh, one, everywhere. One more question. One more question. When the when the crackers or explosive would be inside the pineapple, and the and and the and the elephant ingested the food and the the crackers and whatever is going inside. How how will they burst inside? I mean. It's not inflammable inside. I mean, it's all mushy and liquid now. Maybe it just ex the 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 chemicals just penetrated the intestines and caused some poisoning. I think is that is that what it happened or something else? Well, according to uh, the articles that I've seen so far, uh, uh, I don't think it went inside. And when it was trying to chew it, maybe due to some friction or something. I don't know. I don't know the. Uh, uh, Man, we need a we need a full we need a full. Uh, forensic investigation on this thing uh, yes, anyway sir. anyway go ahead and uh, ask me your question about canada what is your query what is your curiosity about canada tell me about it my curiosity is uh, uh, uh i worked in hyderabad i was in hyderabad before coming to this place okay uh, and i worked uh, i worked with one of the uh, uh, multinational companies i worked for the canadian company i worked for bell canada Oh, wait a second. You were working for Bell Canada, uh, yeah. Bell Canada in Hyderabad. In Hyderabad, call center. A call, a call center, okay. And and uh, are you an engineer? Or who, who, what, what do you do? What, you are an no, engineer no. software or what do you do? No, 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 sir. Uh, I, work, I worked as a uh, technical department executive. Uh, oh. I worked as a technician. Uh, not, I'm not an engineer. You, you, look like a, you, you, you look like a space scientist to me. <laughs> okay, so you were working as a technical engineer in the call center for how many years? I worked there for eight years. Eight years. And then you left the job. Now the job is over? Uh, yes, sir. I got okay. married and... Uh, <laughs> oh, you married and I... left the job and come back here. Okay. So, and yes. what, is your, what is your degree in? Well, that's a good question. That's uh... always a good question. You tell me, <laughs> <laughs> what's the degree in? <laughs> well, uh, I'm not a graduate at the first place. Okay, great twelve. Uh, but yeah, yes. Great twelve, and then call center and something. Okay, and uh, can I ask if it's not too private? Can I ask you what was the salary per month average? I mean, you don't have to be exact though if you want. Don't want to. Yeah, the, uh, I used to get uh, uh, approximately thirty thousand, thirty, uh, thirty-two, thirty-five. Okay. Um, okay. okay. To the max, but, including incentives. Okay, go ahead and come to, come to your question now. Yeah. Yeah, my point is, uh, uh, since I have uh, the experience in the call center and uh, I was one of the best agents on the floor, though yeah. I don't have uh, the academical, uh, 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 I'm not academically 
a graduate, but I'm blessed with some skills, uh, be it the spoken skills and uh, uh, I, I can communicate. And I had a good reputation there uh, with the Canadian customers. I got a laptop as an incentive. Uh, I was uh, one of the best. <laughs> no, uh, that, that's true. That's true. I was one of the best yeah. agents there. Yeah. And uh, why I did not do my graduation was uh, uh, due to my family uh, issues. Uh, I was a huge family. Uh, yeah. I'm the eldest one. I, I had to start working uh, and so on. I have three sisters and a brother. Uh, I had to take care of them all. So that was yeah. one of the reasons. And now, my curiosity about Canada is I work for the American company uh, and I work for the Canadian company. I work for two companies which are uh, located in America. Uh, 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 their uh, technical support. I worked as a technical support. And I work for the Canadian company, Bell Canada. And I loved talking to the people. I mean, uh, I, I was very comfortable and uh, the kind of uh, the reception from... Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Anthony, uh, Anthony, I'm not you... Exaggerating. No, that, that's fine. My... And, and Anthony, you, you have multinational talent skills. I can tell uh, uh, by just your presentation and stuff, you are extremely skilled uh, technician and uh, what you were working in that call center uh, it is called, if somebody was applying for Express Entry, it is called User Support Technician, which is NOC 2282, and that was you were working. So you have great skills. Come to the question, what do you want from me? What do you, what do you want to accomplish today? Okay, I'm 42 now, sir. Yeah. Uh, I just want to check if there is any way at all, any way at all that I can uh, uh, go to Canada. Okay, and, uh, I've got I it. I've got it. Like I, I will. I will jump to my my answer right away. All right. Uh, people all over the world are desperate to go to Canada. It's yeah. just not only in Kerala or Hyderabad. All over the world, Canada is such a, you know, such a magnet. It used to be. I know 20, 30 years ago, it used to be United States of America, but right now the U.S. conditions are in doldrums, and it's not very attractive for them to, you know, people to people to go and live there and get a green card. Uh, in, your, in your case, since you do not have a, a BA, BSc degree, I strongly urge you, I strongly recommend that you get a bachelor's degree with either by correspondence or distance education somehow. I mean, in today's world, it should not be very hard to get a bachelor's degree by you know distance education. That is number one, should be on your list. Number two, uh, if you have the money and if you, you have the English skills, you have the experience, it is worth trying. It is trying. I mean, I, I cannot predetermine what will happen, but you can, you can try to, uh, you know, apply to a college in Canada to get a bachelor's degree, whether you do it from India or Canada, you need a bachelor's degree in life. So if you have the wherewith hall, which is close to about twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars to pay for education and your living expenses. I think it is worth attempting that step. So, if you have uh, technical skills, maybe you can get uh, get admission. Go to Google, and I made many videos. I don't want to repeat this information on what again again. I made many many videos about how to apply for study uh, admissions and visa. Uh, go check them out or check, uh, you know, the Government of Canada website, how to apply for study visa. Uh, you should get admission in a college uh, in, you know, some kind of technical skills. At least uh, uh, I would recommend that you get a four year degree program. Don't go for two year diploma, nothing. Go for a bachelor's of whatever business administration or technical anything, uh, communication study, something uh, for a four year uh, bachelor's degree in Canada. I think that will that will open the the wonderful world of Canada to you in 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 relation to your education, in relation to the exposure that you will get. Uh, possibly you will you know get uh, job offers maybe in in related field. You will also have access to part time working opportunities maybe at 20, 20 hours a week, and after four year. You will you will get access to three year postgraduate work permit that will itself, uh, you know, uh, augur you well towards uh, getting permanent residence. I did not ask you about your wife. What is the education of your wife? Yeah, she has uh, completed her uh, uh, B.A.D. B. 
uh, bachelor of i'm sorry uh, she has completed her bed she I, she I, I she wants to understand what is a bed bed bachelor of education bed yes 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 bed yes, 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 yes. okay yes. okay so is she working or not uh, we, we both are working for the private sector here in uh, schools yeah. and colleges <laughs> yeah i think uh, all alter, alternatively you know if she can go she can get uh, admission into a ma program or a pg diploma program and she can go uh, as a she can study something in canada and then you can accompany as a spouse visa so take a look at many videos i made about spouse visa what is a spouse visa how do you go what documents are needed you can check them out so i think uh, just to summarize uh, you you should you or through your wife should attempt getting study admission and study visa either through yourself or, or through wife that's so that's the most pragmatic way for you to to enter canada legally uh, at present because of lack of education you do not qualify for any uh, pr under skill class uh, even though you have experience uh, you will not get a direct job offer you know directly from canada to here in in bell or any other company because of you know coronavirus and unemployment downtrend so uh, i don't foresee any other practical possibility except except for the study option for you right now thank you so much sir thank you so thank much you. you've been take very care. kind take a hey, hey yes, save sir. that save save that elephant and find out who the culprit is i'll do that i'll do my best <laughs> thank you so much nice talking to you sir all right